Hello everybody, this is Hacker Inc. and I'm just gonna show you um a small graphical app that I made in Dude. What it basically does is just load up another app that is used to display the graphics. Now what you're gonna do is basically when you click on something, it's gonna load up another app. This is a tip for anyone who wants to develop an app or a game for Dude. Um you basically make two apps, one for graphics, one for the controls. That's how it works right now. I'm trying to integrate those features into one scripting language, but it's not working. Like, I did this one test where I used, like, these arrays and, like, so many different arrays. By the time it got done checking all the arrays, like... Let's just say it had been well over two to five seconds before the screen even loaded up. So, yeah, you don't want that kind of lag to be happening. So, I mean, uh, comment below. Do you want a two to five second lag or not? Yeah, but I mean, um, let's go to, let's click out of that so that way we get back to this. Terminal. Run. Test dot on three, which loads up the control app. Swim. I'm still working on getting it to display the link. It's for some reason refusing to display my link, even though you make the link. So you gotta search for it, and it loaded up the app for graphics. You just load up the app for graphics. It says, and yeah. So, um, oh, I forgot to show y'all something. Hold on one second. Okay, basically what I did was there's a string in my OS that, dis that determines whether or not it is or is not in uh, um, what user experience it's using. You know, UX instead of UI, because UX sounds so much cooler. But, yeah, um, so I made a U mobile UX. So I just want to know what you guys think of this. Now the mobile one is basically you got a small list of apps on the bottom in a dock, kind of like iOS. It's got everything, you know, the app is running a window. It's mm, mm, monotasking, you know, built for like netbooks or devices. The window cannot move, so that way you can't like misplace it. Uh, the window cannot close. I may get it to be able to minimize. And when it minimizes, it's going to minimize to the top of the um, screen. May add in an effect in there for like some graphics. I'm, I got an idea on how to make a graphics without getting it to flash, but I'm going to have to test it first, and it may take a couple weeks or maybe a month or two. But yeah, y'all, I will also add a feature in the terminal that will allow the OS to reboot using the mobile UI. Still got the normal uh, login screen. I'm going to change that so you get a mobile login screen. That it will be better. But this is the mobile UX. It also does not have live background, so that may be better. Right now, none of the icons work. I just finished the design for it. So yeah. Anyways, this has been Hacker. Ink and uh, comment below and tell me what you think of the um, new mobile UX. Anyways, this has been Hacker Ink and you're welcome. Oh, um, the the um, mobile UX. Hang on, let me just pause this and I will start to code for a minute. It may take me anywhere between 30 minutes, so I'm gonna pause this. Hang on for a second. Uh, but hang on, I gotta just. Please hang on to the video. Please do not change it, okay? Okay, it should be recording in 3, 2, 1. Alright, everybody, I'm back. Um, okay, so apparently what I've done is I have wrote a function that converts apps for the desktop UX into apps for the mobile UX. Yes, there is a difference because of the windowing system. The windowing system entirely different on them. Anyways, so 
Yeah, I'm going to just show you all this. <sighs> yes, I'm kind of tired. Mm. See what time it is. Dang. Why does it say 8 a.m. on my clock? My clock is wrong on my computer. What the heck? That's screwed up. Let's just close Task Manager. Okay. Okay. Alright, so let's just try this out. And... Move around the mouse, try and hit the link. And it does not work. Oh well, but basically apps for mobile don't move around and they're better on the graphics and I'll change it later so the transparencies don't work on mobile. You know, the mobile UX and stuff, so I mean I mean the dot transparency will, but basically mobile is the one that you want to focus on for games. I'll release an SDK for the mobile UX later on and I will release when we finally get an SDK for everything I will put all the code together and I will release an all-in-one SDK for y'all this has been Hacker Inc and you're welcome